G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. Great little math problem here for you to solve. What we have is we have a square, and inside the square, from a central interior point, we have four lines radiating out. Uh, they're radiating out, and they're hitting the midpoint of each one of these sides here. So this line goes from the interior and hits the midpoint of this side. This line's going off to the midpoint of this side, and so on and so forth. What it's done is it's broken up our square into four unequal parts. One's 24 centimetres, one's 30 centimetres squared, one's 48 centimetres squared. Now this is your problem, this is the part you're trying to work out, how big is this unknown part here. Now, just a little thing here, this diagram is not drawn to scale. This is not a problem where you're going to be using measurement to work it out. You've got to use a bit of logic. Anyway, good luck solving that. Pause the video, give it a go, and then I'll come back in a second with the solution. Alright, time's up. How'd you go? Did you work that out? If you did, congratulations. If not, well, I'll tell you what, I'll go through right now how I'd go through solving this. And you might want to pause it even just a little bit into this if you uh, start to get the idea that it might be enough of a hint to keep you going, if you didn't solve it, that is. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to break each of our parts into two. We're going to do that by drawing a line from the corner to the interior part here, breaking the 24 centimetre part into two. We're going to break the 30 centimetre part into two. We're going to break the 48 centimetre part into two, and we're going to break the unknown part into two. Now, maybe you can go on from here and solve it if you didn't have success in solving it before, but I'm about to go on with how we would complete this now. So as you can see, we have formed eight triangles, and this is what you may notice with these particular triangles. Each triangle has a twin, which has a same amount of area in it. For instance, this triangle has the same base and height, as this triangle base and height. So therefore, they have the same amount of area. In fact, we're gonna label them A and A. They both have the same amount of area. This triangle and this triangle have the same area also. They have the same base and they have the same height. So B and B here. This triangle and this triangle here have the same area. They have the same base and the same height, C and C. And no surprise, the same area for these two triangles here. So we have these identical triangles the identical pair A, identical pair B, identical pair C, and identical pair D. So we're going to use this now to solve our particular uh, problem. All right, at any stage with this, by the way, pause it up and see if you can solve it if you got stuck from a particular point. I think that's also a good thing. What you might notice is this, A plus B plus C plus D is going to be the same as A plus B plus C plus D. We're going to use this to solve. So first off, we know A and B here. So A plus B, what does that equal? Well, A plus B is equal to 24, we knew that already. We're going to add that to C plus D. Now, what is C plus D? C plus D is over here. This is 48, so C plus D is 48. So we're to add all these A plus B plus C plus D together, we're going to get 24 plus 48, which is 72. Now, let's do it for these diagonals, where we have B plus C, we know what B plus C is equal to, B plus C is equal to 30. And if we were to add it to A plus D here, A plus D, once again, you're going to notice we have A, B, C, D, so all that's accounted for, this would equal 72. Also, so 30 plus what equals 72? Well, 30 plus 42 equals 72, and therefore A plus D is equal to 42. And so that's our answer. Our answer is the unknown section is 42 centimetres squared. It's a great little solution, right? It's a really, really uh, deceptively simple little uh, problem to work out, but I think it's a really, really good one. So that's how you go through and solve it. If you like this video, please remember, hit the like button and comment down below. Tell me how you went. Anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.